Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on President's Day. Don't get me going, uh, a little bit political. We don't try, well, we try to stay away from politics here on Collapse Chronicles. So President's Day, that is February 21st, 2022. I'm gonna declare President's Day a national day of mourning. Uh, but anyway, oh man, I meant to, uh, I got my new glasses here from Lowe's. Oh no, I meant to uh, have a comment called up. Just want to call up one uh, sw one quick comment to uh, lead me into hopefully a very quick rant because the sun is going down and I'm ready for a margarita. This is, uh, well, I love this comment from this Doomer chick, A.D. Riggle. I have no delusions that permaculture is going to support 8 billion people. That is why I love permaculture. <laughs> anyway, but we're not, that, that, I would like, I might go over the comments about my permaculture rant, but that's, uh, that's not the one I wanted to, uh, to, uh, call up uh, for the President's Day rant. Uh, damn it. Well, okay. It looks like, good Lord. All right, here we go. From Tommyist. From Tommyist. How do you feel knowing that your tax dollars have been used to support neo-Nazi factions in Ukraine. My answer to the question, how do I feel knowing that my tax dollars have been used to support neo-Nazi factions in Ukraine? I am much more concerned knowing that my tax dollars, if I paid taxes, were being used to support neo-Nazi factions in Washington, D.C. The whole Ukraine distraction is just one more way to keep our minds off the more immediate danger to our own country. But this channel is not the place for this boring distraction. So please take it elsewhere. Yes. So anyway, uh, that's really all I need to say about the Ukraine distraction on this channel. But uh, now it's going through the mainstream media here on Monday morning on President's Day. Uh, and I just really, it's just one story that uh, I need to read about Russia. This is really the only story about Russia that uh, caught my attention and now it is nowhere to be seen. Oh, damn it. Uh, it is gone. It has been eaten. Uh, it was right on today's uh, mainstream media news, and now my computer has eaten the uh, only story about Russia worth mentioning. All right. Thank you. Would you give it back to me? This is the one story about Russia that I care to share here on Collapse Chronicles before going to have a margarita. <clears throat> Russia and China <coughs> agree on new coal deal for 100 million ton supply. 
Russia and China have agreed on a new deal that will see Russia supply 100 million tons of coal in the quote, coming years, plural, to its southern neighbor. Yes, Sergei Mikhalenkov, the head of the Russian Energy Ministry, announced the deal on Friday. The new deal will add to an already lucrative deal Russia signed with India in November of last year to supply 40 million tons of coal to India. So now between China and India, 140 million tons. Quoting the Russian environment minister, as a real knee slapper, now an intergovernmental agreement with the People's Republic of China is being developed and the figure is 100 million tons. In the coming years, consumers, meaning in China, should receive as much coal as they need. Close quote. Uh, Russian news outlet TASS, which is owned by the government, reported on the deal adding that Russia's share of coal in the Asia-Pacific market has increased by 8% since 2010, with Russia now controlling around 12% of the market. Machalikov added, quote, we have good prospects until 2030 and Russia should take its share in the growing market. And again, uh, I'm not getting into the Ukraine thing here, but even without digging into it, it's probably safe to say on some level it's all about the fossil fuels, dummy. Keep it simple, stupid. It's all about the fossil fuels. And I honestly don't know what's going on over there in Ukraine. I, I can actually give a damn what's going on over there in Ukraine, to be perfectly honest. I'm, I'm taking a wild guess. It has something to do with some sort of oil pipeline or probably a gas pipeline. My guess is whatever war does or does not happen over there in Ukraine, it, it, it has something to do with a gas pipeline. I am honestly just, uh, that, that is just a hunch. I have not spent five minutes on that distraction. The story is the 100 million tons of coal to China and the 40 million tons of coal to India is a bigger story than the Ukraine story, but uh, maybe five or six people on the planet understand this. And so I'm going to wrap this up and go enjoy my President's Day margarita, drinking a toast to uh, Joe Biden. And uh, thanks to Joe Biden, our president in 2024, Donald Trump. What did I read? That Joe Biden's poll numbers on President's Day are lower than, and you, you know, Donald Trump's poll numbers were on his presidency. You know what I'm saying? That Joe Biden is polling lower than Donald Trump was in his administration, and you wonder, try to wonder why we're doomed. Keep wondering. Bye, guys.